All right. So today on Newbie Vet, got a special guest. Got my boy, yes, Tino. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tino. So let's get into it, man. So first off, Tino Lowe's. I know we talked about this, you know, outside before we started, but what, what the oh, Tino yeah. Lowe's represent? Well, really, man, it really go back to my name when I first started, man, when I, you know, jumped in. I was going off of Tim Brick. And the reason I got that name Tim Brick was, see, we used to go out, you know what I'm saying? One night we was down there at Lavish. You know, they know, they, it's called Empire now. Shout out my boy, at, you know, Flame down there, Grind Gang. But anyway, we walked in that beach, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was looking good, feeling good. Everybody money was straight. Girl told her we were like Tim Brick. So we were like, shit, we running with that. So it was a Tim Brick need, you know, Brandon he used to hit me up, my boy Brandon. How you feeling like boy? She nigga I'm looking like Tim Bricks. Nice. So when I dropped my uh second project with uh Brick Print, I just felt like it was better than the first one on Elevate. I didn't take it to another level, so I just went with ten loads. Right, right, you know right. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere I go, man, you know, I I feel like ten loads. Right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. So that's what's up, man, that's what's up. So how like like how old were you when you First realized like I could do music. I want to do this. I know. I know. You, I know. When we talked earlier, you said that you know you, it was a couple pauses and stuff, and you know. But like, when you first realized like, hey, I could do this shit as like a career, like. Well, really, since I was in high school, I, I really felt like, but you can rap. Like you do freestyle. You know, I was smoking session in the car, nigga rapping. Right, right. And everybody just like, boy, you really you got it, bro. You need to go and do that shit. My right. nigga, they really told me that. My, you know, my partner, they're my, like, my brother, Lou Out. Man, shout out to you know, kind of like, man, Lou Out really doing it. Like, everybody just rap capping, but, bro, really just told me from then on us. Then, like, he had a studio at his house. Mm. We used to go over there, I used to be hearing him doing shit. And I used to go to, you know what I'm saying, look, with shows with him. I started off as a hype man for him. So, shit, bro, I'm finna, I'm finna amp your ass up, we finna do this shit. Right. And he, I was just so good at that shit. It was like, man, fuck that. Walt was like, nigga, you finna get in the, get your ass in the joke. Right. So I was probably about, that shit was Sky City days. She probably about 25, 24. Just Sky really. City? Sky City days, yeah. Sky City, okay. Yeah, so right around, you know, about early 20s when I really started going in. But it, I always knew I could rap. Right. But right. you know. But oh, okay, okay. Everybody in the, you know, that young nigga, I'm in the street, so I wasn't really focused on that shit, so. So like so when you young when you young being in the streets and say like man you have a lot like a lot of people telling you that you dope in the music, but in your mind you were in the streets at that time. So like what's like what like what be so? Why do young guys or young men be so occupied to the streets when it's when they have like a, a hidden talent or they have a, a a large skill that they don't maximize on at that time? Why is that your opinion? Money. Money. Everybody, it take money to do anything. Right. So like, a young nigga with that mindset, oh shit, oh I can rap, I can do this, I do, but it ain't bringing in no revenue right now because you're not looking at it. Like at that age, you're not looking at the vision. Young nigga want have, he want that money, he want the cars, he want to be able to take care of everything on his own, you know, straight up like that. So music ain't gonna really be on his mind. So if he got right. a way to get some fair money, he gonna go to that fair money route. Oh, and I do that music on my spare time. I do right. that shit for fun. Right. Cause that fast money come in quick. That fast money got that come quick, <laughs> boy. That boy yeah, 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 going a hundred. Yeah, that fast money come in quick, and and, I, and that's what a lot of people get attracted to. You yeah, know what man, saying? it's, it's yeah, really yeah, yeah. exactly what they call it a trap. Yeah. But it's all is is fast money good money? Not all the time. Right, right. Not right. all the time. Right, right. Fast, all money. Every, all folks tell you all money ain't no good money. Yeah. But it's I mean, according to people's situations and what they're going through at the time. It might be their only option, so right. you can't do nothing but respect some of it. And some of it, you know, they got other options they can do that shit, but they're going to take their route. Right. Because they don't want to put in the work to go their route. So, you know, it's really a battle with self every time. Right, 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 right. Most no. deaf, most, most deaf, most deaf, most deaf. So, when you're in the streets and stuff like that, the issues, the, the issues come from, do the issues come from, the your, your the ones that you're around, the people you're around, do it be the issues from the the, the police, or it just be issue amongst just thieves, if they, if they call it that. It's really you, all issue you both. So, all it, all it's really all you know mixed with everything, right? Like, but it mainly starts what you surround yourself by. If I surround myself by a bunch of hardworking niggas, 
You know what I'm saying? They getting money. They doing what they got to do. I mean, they, you can't do nothing but look at that like, damn, my boy, they really doing this. They really doing it. Why I can't do it? Right. So then you start, like I said, go back to me saying it's a battle with self. So, like, like I said, it's just what you surround yourself by, man. You only... You you only gonna be a product of your environment so many times. Right, 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 right. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Cool, cool, cool. So you you from Appling, Appling, Georgia. 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 That's near. What, what is that near? For those who don't know. If you don't know that, it's near going like near Thompson and Lincoln, and right outside Evans. Like you know, you come from Augusta, you gonna hit Martinez, Evans, and that's when you gonna hit Appling. Okay. Right okay. near Harlem. You know, right, we uh-huh. really, you know, slap, kind of sore in the middle. So, like, like, y'all, like what y'all, where y'all, 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 where y'all go to go shop at? Everything down there? Yeah, we come, come to the Augusta? city, man. We come <laughs> to the city. We, we, we go pretty much anywhere. We gonna come to the city, though. Yeah. We love Augusta. Yeah. We love Augusta, but, you know, Augusta, you know, a lot of Augusta folks, they, they get a different perception of it. Why oh, they that? born from Clement County, where they got money, they got, man, it's way, it's different size. I'm, I'm gonna break this shit down to you. Okay. In case for y'all that don't know. Okay. Well, Clem County, you know what I'm saying? You got Evans, you got Martinez, but everywhere you go, anywhere in the world, you're going to have a hood somewhere. That's true. So I'm going to break it down like over there in Martinez, you got, well, in Evans, you got Ridge Crossing, you got Boys Ridge, you got uh, Niggerville, and you got What's Harlem. Niggerville? Is that Niggerville? They call it Niggerville. It's a Niggerville in, in, in Clem County. What's that? They, they, they call it the Ville. They call it the Ville, right? It's more than black folks stay right there. It's a cut. Okay. Then you got Harlem, they call that Pookerville. Yeah. Then you know what I'm saying? Out there in Harlem Grove Town, you got Garnerville. Then she, where it all started, my hood, you know, in Appling, you got Cox Alley, McClatter Drive, Johnson Drive, King Villa, right. Winfield, you got out there in Winfield, you know, Terrace Drive, all of them. And you know, it, it hoods all over the county, man. Right, 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 right. It's hoods all over. Right. Like, you just got to step out of the country hoods. Right, right. So, you know? Right. So, so I'm glad you said that. When it comes to hood, because uh, I was having this conversation with one of my partners the other day. We was talking about, you know, hood's a hood, you know, because you have some people that you might be raised in the country. It's not the city, but it's the country. It's a bunch of trees, a bunch of dirt roads, stuff like that. They still have hoods there. <laughs> like, still Detroit have took off real quick. <laughs> Maybe out there hood in the You still get your ass busted down there. It just man, it's, it, bro, it's like anywhere you go, man, you gotta carry yourself a certain type of way because right. man, a, a man gonna be a man. I'm a man before anything, right? And you know, it, everybody just know how it go, man. You know, right. but you just can't, you just can't look at oh, he from this side, he can't, he they ain't about what they talking about. They from man, really? I know some niggas that live in a motherfucking windmill plantation, that bust a nigga down, like you know what I'm saying? But right. niggas just stay out of the way, right? Music, they took their plan and elevated to another, you know, music mindset another way. Right, right, right. Exactly, exactly. Because it's like at the, at the end of the day, like you said, it's, it's a hood. It's a hood everywhere, you know, yeah. just everywhere you go and stuff like that. And you got to be able to maneuver where you go. You can't go to Atlanta anywhere. You just travel. No, nah, you just like, can't go to Atlanta and be like, <laughs> I'm going to sell my shit right here. Boy, right. shit down. No, no, right. that new boy got like a whole operation. They running up the street. Right. You get in time traffic coming this way and you ain't even checked in with a boy. With, you know, at least show love, you know. I'm right. fucking with y'all. I got my little thing going on too. Show a little respect to the new. Right. You know what I'm saying? They ain't going to, they going to look at this nigga like, boy, who man is this? You know what I'm saying? Right. They, you feel like, you know, they're going to feel like you're stepping on toes. Right. Isn't it? Anything you do, you got to have show respect to the niggas, man. That's it's doing it before you. You know, it ain't all about competition. Right. That's right. where niggas go wrong at, and that's where beef started. Right. Niggas always in competition with each other. I want to see the nigga man shine. If, we, if I'm in here balling, you in here balling, you in here balling, you got a section, we got a ball, you know. We, on, sh- on shots out to you, bro, I salute. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And that way, that way fucked up about the man. Too much hate going on. And I had, you know. Yeah. We don't respect that. Yeah. So do you think there's ever going to be a change in that? You think there's going to be a time where black people can all come together and, and, and work on, like, actually unite and work on things? I mean, don't get me wrong. All this, not all black people are, are, are like that. But majority of the ones we know, <laughs> they're yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 From yeah, what yeah. we was raised. Cause I, I, I try to explain to people. They were like, well, all black people ain't like that. But it's like, if you've been, you been in one certain area or certain you know, areas for your whole life and you've been around certain places, you can only relate to certain places that you've been. 
you know, you can't really speak on like, well, everybody in the world, of course, everybody in the world don't act like that. But from yeah, where, man. where I mean, we from? Ain't no way you go. There's always going to be some hating going right. on. But I will say this. If you look at like what's going on with the businesses, all that, you got the or like the Arab people, Middle Eastern people, they sticking together, they rocking with each other. They going they open the businesses, you know what I'm saying? They going in together. Then you got the white man. They gonna always pat each other and look at each you know, for each other and pat each other on the back. Right. We gonna they gonna be for each other best interest. But like then you got the Chinese, they do the same thing, yeah. you know, Chinese, they gonna run the chain. They with each other. Yeah, they're gonna work it. They gonna but work then, with each other. Then you got the black man. We so, <laughs> man, you got, I, but you got to look at it like this with anything we do. We in competition with anything we do, man, with each other. And it's, and it's bad, bro, because if you look at, like, who killing each other, we killing each we other killing, more, we than, killing each other more, than, more than, than anybody. Kill, yeah, like, more than you anybody. don't see, we, we, we got a percentage higher than anybody. Right. So. And it be over stupid shit. Yeah, it, but, and some of it be systematic, too. Yeah, it be systematic, I feel like too. some of it be right. systematic. Right. Like, I be. I be thinking about that shit, man. Right. I ain't no, I ain't no out bar, nobody, you know, I, <laughs> you know, shout out my Muslim folks, you know what I'm saying? But right. I ain't, you know, I just be thinking like, if you look at what's going on, like, look at what's going on out here in the bottom, you know, I ride, I look at like what's going on in the bottom, you know, in the, up at my bar village, everything, you know, I ride, I've been through all my everywhere in the coast. And I look at what's going on, like what they got down there. Ain't these folks ain't got nothing like, you got run down, like, old houses and all that shit. Then I ride back on the county side, you know what I'm saying, on my side. When I'm coming through, you know, when you first come through, through the, you know, the clean side. Yeah. And you see, you got business everywhere, 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 everywhere everybody good. You know what I'm saying? You clean car. They, oh, the cars are beautiful. Different. Uh, Columbia come, County is beautiful I'm compared you, to Richmond. Yeah, so <laughs> and it's like, why y'all got all this going on up here? And these folks living good. You know, these folks got, you know, money right. And y'all looking out for them, but they ain't being dead by, but you know, about these folk down here and shit. They living, like, it's rough. Right. So that's why the crime gonna go up and they gotta pay their money, you know, pay their bill, and they gotta get that money by right. all costs, by all any means, but. Right. Right. Shit just, you can look at shit and tell, bro. Right. So I feel like that shit in, in it with us. Until we start goddamn putting the goddamn our foot on these goddamn white folk neck, excuse me, all the white folk, I love y'all, but it's just the proof in the pudding. Until right. we put our foot on these folk necks, right. we, ain't, we ain't gonna get nowhere. Yeah. You know what we I'm saying? Yeah. And for us to do that, put our foot on these folks neck, we gotta go on ahead and quit bullshitting and shit, yeah. lock in. Right. Shit, they, everybody else doing it. Ain't nobody gonna take care of black folk better than black folk. Yeah, you gotta, I mean, black folks, you gotta invest in, you gotta invest in, you know, together and make the shit happen in order for stuff to pop. Cause everybody can be dominant and have power in their own lane. Even, even if you is working as a team, you still can be, come together as a board. I like, it's just like they have a board meetings. They big comp, 500 companies. Yeah. They have board meetings. They have everybody that's in over a branch in, under that, on that table. Everybody has a vote. Everybody has a say. Everybody say-so. got a job. Everybody got a voice. Everybody has it. their own job. They in charge of their own business. But like, when it comes to the black folks, it's more of a dominant. I want to be that top dude. I want to be that dude that y'all praise. I want to be the dude that's getting. I want to be the boss. I, I want to be boss. Top. Not knowing that there's bosses. There's not just one boss. This could be multiple bosses. You can have eight, nine bosses in one company if it's ran right. Yep. Because you could be in charge of marketing. That's your job. You don't want to do marketing. You the boss of that. You the boss of of, of promoting. Everybody see like you say. Everybody want to be like go back and say everybody competition. With each other. I'm gonna tell you one thing. He was one of the rappers like I be listening to mainly, and that nigga say some real shit, dope boy rock. That nigga said some real shit. You ain't got to sell the most to sit at the table and toast. That's true. And I looked at that shit like true. you ain't got to be at the, the top dog all the time. Everybody got a job and everybody you can make yourself a boss, but you got to start off a work. Right. You got to support anything that your with your boy that your partner that's at a you know he he I ain't gonna say he at a high level of you, but he got his feet running and he in a little bit in front of you got things going. You gotta look at what he's doing, you gotta support what he's doing. Yeah. Then he's reach one, teach one, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, everybody just got to support one and you know right. one another, like black businesses, all that. But black business got to understand now, you got to cater to your people too. Now you, you got you know to, everybody ain't racked up like that. So you gotta 
If I know I can go got there and get something from you for fifty dollars, and I know they got it at Walmart for thirty dollars, what yeah. I'm gonna do? For Walmart, it ain't nothing personal, but I'm, I'm going by my dollar. Right, 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 right. But it, but you know that's that goes that goes back and forth. The reason I say reason I I, I agree and I, it's like a back and forth answer with that with me because it's like yeah. when you're in business, it's like. What I, what I, what I, what all black owners seem to get when they're, they're business owners or people that do business or any type of thing. When it comes to dealing with our own race, it's more of look out for me. Look out, yeah. It's more of help me out, discount me. But they don't do that to no one else. They don't do it to the whites. They don't do it to the Mexicans. They don't do it to nobody else. They just do it to black people. It's like, for instance, yeah, I did a they're wedding. They're real, they're real. I did a white wedding before. I, I did a white wedding before. Cheated myself out some money. This is a true story. Um, I never did a white wedding before. I did just did black weddings. You know, just did black weddings. Family. So I, I finally got my first white wedding. This is some years <laughs> back. And I'm so used to black prices. That makes sense. If that makes sense. You know, just Augusta prices. Hood price. Hood prices. <laughs> you know what yeah. Hood prices down here. So cheated myself out. She the, the guy was like the guy was a, a doctor. His wife was uh Oh boy, that was a lick, boy. A lick. He was playing. <laughs> that was a lick, boy. That million dollar lick, boy. So I was like, you said, how much it is to film the, the wedding? I said, just a thousand. Oh man, I was expecting to pay five thousand. Huh? What the oh! fuck? Man, I would have said, hey man, oh. look at them. But I take tips too. Large ones. <laughs> Large ones. But you know what I'm saying it just it, it it just tells you the difference of the just the taxes the, like just difference of the just the the business the business move is just different like he was expecting it you know for your work then when it comes to filming and anything they they expect a high price because that's what they so used to seeing or they don't know they so they expect it to they be don't high. Know the game. So right. they, 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 but when it comes to black people or whatever, they might know four like three or four other people that do the same thing. Same you thing do, yeah. But he only charges. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm on the bro, he ain't doing that, but one fifty he got a special going on. What you gonna do for me? <laughs> <laughs> bro, I can't just say nothing for you, bro. <laughs> Hey man, that's it be true though. Man, it's real, bro. That's, that's real. Just, man, that's what anything that's we do. It's real. It's real. We, we need that damn discount, man. We need man. that discount. I mean, give it down. It's five dollars. I mean, this is five dollars, my bro. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm a, I be a little low down sometimes. I be trying to beat a nigga every now and then. You gotta win, nigga. You gotta win. <laughs> <laughs> I got the win, man. But that, hey, but you see what I'm talking about, though. That's, yeah, I mean, dirty that's guy, dirty guy, dirty guy. Yeah. Dirty guy. It's crazy, man. Yeah, man. We got to do better. That's like going to Walmart. That's like me and you, me and you going to Walmart, and we just grabbing what the hell we want out of Walmart, and just, all right, we'll pay it back sometime next week. Okay, we just give you $100 for all this shit in the buggy. That's $800 worth of shit in this buggy. Can we just give you, like, 400 You think it'll work? Man, she... <laughs> Them folks gonna look at you like, man, leave the shit like, bye. You shouldn't even grab this shit. Right. Do what you want. Right, right. Man, hell no. Right. So, man, um, so how do you and Dominique wind up linking up, connecting and stuff, wind up working together? That my boy. We okay. Were, I went to, look, man, I went to Greenbrier. And, you know, I ain't wrong so with you were, my yeah, mom. So you went to private school? Yeah, man, because I, I stayed in trouble. I was bad as hell, man. Fighting. Man, fighting from doing a little stupid little bullshit for like pissing on the damn jungle gym and shit. You what? What happened? You said you were pissing on a you you was pissing on a jungle gym. Man, what? one day, man, I was I had it was being I had to be in like like kindergarten or something. Like you know how you remember something, but it was like flashes or something. Yeah, yeah, like flashes. So I remember pissing on the damn. Jungle gym and everything. I had to piss. Right. I'm from the country, man. I'm going. I'm you can go outside and pee. Yeah, right, I got right, to right. piss. Damn, what y'all talking about? But for some <laughs> odd, <laughs> for some odd reason, I just wanted to piss on the jungle gym. I don't know why. I just did it. Right. But when I did that shit, they called my mama. You know, I got my ass towed up. Then you know, I was fighting again. His dinner, they said I was cussing, cussing the teacher. So she snatched me out that shit, and it was like on um, Willow Road where she stayed in the apartment. Right. He just got Montessori School of Augusta. I went there from like I think first grade or all the way to what fourth grade. I came back to Greenbrier in fourth grade. I was back with my partners from the hood and all that. So I stayed in trouble, getting in trouble. With them. Then I, I calmed down, calmed down. She kept get, I got kept back, got down there twice. She bad as hell. I wasn't dumb and then he just wanted to act up. Want to act up. So she, it was just. 
I was just bad as hell, man, for no, no reason, man. You had, Always you, had, on the, you, had, you had a squad with you, like a whole clique man, with you? Man, it was me, my <laughs> nigga JJ, he's a crazy ass. Uh, JJ stupid, my boy, I love him to death, but he, ooh, boy, that nigga crazy. But uh, Jamal, uh, who was Mikey. It was really those who we started out with. It was a, just the original folk. That's who I grew up sandbox with. That's who, you know what I'm saying? I went to school with. That's my partners, my bros. You know what I'm saying? So, I was back with squad, man. We were acting up, cutting up. Okay, okay, okay. So, you and Neek, we well, all wild up Link. You say, so y'all, that's your dog. Y'all wild up Link. Yeah, yeah. Well, me and Link, um, Damo had linked up. We had met at summer school. It was me. You know, you know, all the back then, all the schools, you know, I, I think they still do it now. Like, all the schools went together. All the yeah, schools went some, for summer yeah, school. Yeah, one school. Oh, right? that's all. That's dope. Yeah, those that, niggas used to be mad about going to summer school. Niggas like me was like, "Shit, boy, that, you got a girl from this school, girl from this school." Yeah. I was like, oh, "Shit." Were there some fine girls? In <coughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Lakeside had what you wanted. The bad, so they Lakeside but, but, like, but you, it, it got to be weird though. I mean, you inside, you in summer school. I mean, for this summer school, was it for like people that like needed credits? Credits. Different things like that? Okay. So we, you know, motherfucker might have failed that class the beginning of the year. Yeah, yeah. Had uh, what half the year, and then you try to get that right, but all you need is that credit. So you'll go to that, go to summer school for just that class. Probably, you probably be there just for an hour. For an hour, right? Yeah, and you go on to the house. I had two classes. So she, I used to go in there, so me and, Damo met each other and uh, me and my cousin Giovanni, that's like my brother Sandbox, like, that's my bro. Like, she's the same, but it's like, his, his damn daddy, my uncle, you know what I'm saying? Like, but all of us was in the same class. Talking about class clown, man, what, what we used to say? It's Mr. Spriggs Barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that shit, it was crazy, man. We just, we just linked up, man. It was just love from then on. Man, that was up, man. That was up. That was up. So he like motivate you uh, for the music, getting into the music. Yeah, we linked back up. He had heard some of my music. And what song you heard? Uh, what it was? What song was it? Uh, it was yeah, it was Slick Talk. It was Slick Talk selling bow ties and old be the nigga like he stole the song. Bro heard it. He bro heard the sauce. So he was like, "That my boy." And he, he figured out who it was, and she it was, it was locked in. And he just yeah. motivated me, he kept motivating me, calling me, calling, motivating me. You, you got to do this, do that. I was like, well, bro, you, I said, bro, you might well be my manager then. So yeah, locked in. Bro, locked yeah. in. I locked did my first in. show in Atlanta, all, bro. So how the show was in Atlanta was first show in Atlanta. How that was? I mean, it wasn't no deep ass show in there, but it was some. Come out the experience. Though, it was some part. strippers and everything. Oh yeah, strippers in there. Yeah. What? Hey, <laughs> they were a little ratchet, but man, I'm a goddamn trap baby, man. I don't give a damn What you mean ratchet, man? Like, what's a ratchet stripper? Man, look. I ratchet mean, stripper. I mean, what's the best? What's what's a rat? What's the most ratchet stripper that you've been? You done been around? And what's the most ratchet baddest stripper, stripper you done been? Around? Ratchet stripper with C-section scars and shit, but bitch did <laughs> bad and thick. Shit like that. So you had to settle for what was going on. Hey, so you had, so you had to find which one had the less C, like scars and shit on them. Yeah, you know they had <laughs> they had them tight stripes and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was one, hey, it was one straight one in there. That was straight. It's always gonna be one straight. Hey, in there, oh, she I was at my boy, but my boy was cooling. She was at my boy, but he was cooling. Right, you know, right. But low ten, she I was locked in. Was single then? I just got out of a little relationship too. She <laughs> uh, hey in the eighth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So the show was pretty straight though. Yeah, it was pretty straight. I, I, I mean, like, when I got the reaction to it, it was a, it had a little crowd in there. And, like, when I seen everybody go on, go on, everybody was like, they, they wasn't too much vibing too much, but they're just rocking their head. Yeah, 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 yeah. But when I got up there, like, it was like a whole nother vibe. See, at first, they thought it was like, dude, before we, they had played my song for him, but he was like, no, nah. I was like, hell no, nah, that ain't shit. When it dropped, everybody was like, okay, oh shit. Everybody like, like, hey, 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 h
She oh, yeah. the, the city gave me a chance, so. Oh yeah. Oh and yeah. Shit, when I damn did my set, it was like everybody was rocking with it, and then like soon as I hopped off stage, all these little dudes they do their little on you know record labels and everybody, everybody give me cards, fucking with me, fucking with me mm. the whole night. But see, you know, I ain't gonna lie, man. Everybody, you know, everybody was ready to go do something, man. Go out. I would really get back to the house and, you know, I would really get back in the street. I already go. <laughs> I told Bino, I said, yeah, bro, they go ahead and head back to the damn, I mean, uh, head back to the city. Head back to the city, yeah, you got to get yeah. back. You got homesick for a second. Yeah, I don't say had some business to tend to. Right, right, right. That's right. how I feel. Right, right, know? right. So, but, um, so other than that, do you like going to Atlanta? Do shows or like just like Atlanta, period? I, I like Atlanta and everything, but to be honest, bro, I'm a real real life country boy, bro. Like that shit it excites me, but it don't really excite right, me. Right, I'm like that too. I feel like I guess because you've been in Georgia your whole life and Atlanta, like right down the street, and if, especially if you've been going to Atlanta like your whole life, you got family there. Got I'm gonna I'm tell you, only times I go to Atlanta, somebody just up and want to go. You know what I'm saying? If I'm on a date or something going yeah. out there, or if Goddamn Cowboys coming in town. Oh, Dallas yeah. Cowboys coming in town. I'm big at the game. Oh, you going I'm up, big at the game going See stupid. a Dallas Cowboy fan. What? <laughs> what? Stack attack, boy. I'm oh, telling you about, man. Man, look, I can get, we can get in a whole nother segment if you want to right after them. So what, what made you become a Dallas Cowboy fan? Man, my whole family Dallas Cowboy fan from my life. It all started, I got four great uncles and three great aunties and my grandma. All them brothers and sisters. My grandma is still a fan. My other auntie, Kate, she a uh, San Francisco uh, 49ers fan. And my other aunties, they cowboy fans. And all my uncles cowboy fans. From my great uncles to my other two uncles, my main two uncles I grew up around. My brother, my cousin. And she was, really made me a cowboy fan. My, my big cousin, man. He used to be like my role model, uh, Ali. Ali? Everybody call him Ali. So I always want to be like Nino, man. They about calling Nino. Want to be like Cuz. So Cuz got the Deion Sanders jersey on. Mom want that Deion Sanders jersey. Right. When got the Deion Sanders jersey on. Yeah, since then, I was just rocking with the Cowboys. Right. Then baseball team, I stuck with our own team, Braves. My family big on baseball. My great granny <laughs> was baseball, uh, great what Braves baseball fan. My I think everybody used to watch baseball when they were younger. Yeah. Your parents used to watch Oh, yeah. I used to play like baseball. Oh, you did? I played baseball, bro. Okay. My big brother, he was a beast in that shit, though. Like, I ain't even gonna cap. My brother played what? Um, he went to the Middle East, Georgia, and played. He really could have went farther than what he would have did, but he messed up his, uh, he tore an ACL mm. playing basketball. You know, everybody's go hoop at Patriots Park. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Adrian McClady. So, you look up that name, he, okay, Bomb Squad, boy. Right, 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 right. Okay, so um, what's uh, so what what's upcoming project you, that you're working on? Music? Or I I just got one done called Smoking Mirrors. Smoking Mirrors. I gave everybody a sneak peek at it, but I pulled it because we had an issue with Apple Music. So, but we fixed that, and Smoking Mirrors finna drop any day now. I just want to just I ain't giving you no date. I'm just throwing it up there you're for throwing you. Throwing it up. Yeah, you got yeah, you got to hit them these days now. Yeah, you just got to hit them. Yeah, I mean, people don't care about you telling them it's coming. Yeah, it's all, <laughs> it's, yeah for real, it's, it's all about marketing, marketing right now. So I'm right. trying to get, level up on that game. But right. smoking mirrors just got done. I'm, I'm about to throw that out back out there, and it's been you know, you know, sharpening up everything right on it. What's you the know? concept for smoking mirrors? Like, what made you write that? that smoking song mirrors out? was like, it's like a whole lot of rap kept going on, like. There's a lot of bullshit was going on in my life right at that time. So I just dropped Smoking Mirrors and I just was like, I had sat back after I had dropped my first, my uh, second project, uh, Brick Print. Right. And I was just like, it was like a whole bunch of little bullshit. So I was like, shit, fuck it. I've been sitting, I've been bullshitting, a whole bunch of Smoking Mirrors going, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Right, right. Okay, okay. okay. That was up, man. That was up. So how many tracks you going to have on it? Twelve. Twelve. Oh, you it, was gonna be ten, it was yeah. going to be 10 because I that was my thing. I used to do 10 loads, so I used to give you 10, 10 tracks, 10, 10 bricks. Track. <laughs> okay, that what's up, man. That, that's what's up. That's dope. That's dope. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a video I'm going to drop about it um, of Smoking Mirrors. That's my, my single, Yellow Tape. Oh, so you already shot it? 
Yeah, I already oh, shot. Oh, okay, okay. How was it? Man, it was good. Man, I had fun doing that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That Anytime was... I do a video, it's oh, oh. always fun with me. I like being in front of the camera. I like talking a little shit. Talking a little shit. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. See, I be at the racetrack and shit. My whole family racing shit, so I like with that shit, boy. You know, you so, what y'all y'all ever been? Y'all ever been down at um? We Carolina? in Jackson. We always be in Jackson. McLaren Motorsports. Yeah, yeah. Cash yeah, yeah. Down I done been down cars. That shit be thick out there. Mm, mm, mm. That's like a party out there, man. Oh yeah, we oh, be yeah. out there trying to hit the leak. <laughs> we either gonna get our head kicked in, or we gonna goddamn kick somebody else's head in. Right, right. Um, I got a whole bunch of partners with cars. Like my cousin Gio, he got a damn 2017 Camaro. Mm. Got that, he call that motherfucker anthrax. Anybody want smoke? Come get it. We ready? You know what I'm saying? Right. Shit like that. <laughs> right, right. So y'all, y'all ride, y'all ride ATVs out there and stuff. We used to do that with young niggas. We, we would always do that. Me and my cousin Gio, man, we used to ride folders and dirt bikes all day. Hit the police car on us. We, we, we were, what, 14, 13 years old running for police on dirt bikes and folders and shit. We been doing that. Right. But, and, and we got no, got no L's. We got no license. Right. She, our grandma took us to see Fast and the Furious. One time we were little. And since then, shh, we want to go fast. <laughs> we can Bobby type shit. <laughs> That would inspire, inspire the speedsters. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got yeah. a speed, uh, yeah. speed adrenaline rush. Yeah, most definitely, man. So, man, let me ask you a question, man. I, I've been asking a lot of people this lately on Newbie Bat, man. So, you feel like uh, 21, do you feel like uh, 10 years from now, would it be a necessity to walk around with a pistol for safety? Man, how shit going, but, I mean, you got to have it, man. I'm telling yeah. you, like, I got to go on to my little boy. I got to right. go on to my people. Like, right. it, it's like, you don't want to do nothing to nobody, but you got to get home, man. Like, it's rough out here. Right. It's people like, shoot, you got to worry about jack boys. Yeah. You got to worry about just nigga hating on yeah, you. Yeah, nigga yeah, might yeah. be hating on you about a female. Right. You know, you, it's I just, just want to rob you in general. Yeah, man. <laughs> rob, rob you in general. Man, bro, I'm going to tell you, like, that robbing shit, bro, nigga. I ain't got robbed before. I ain't even ashamed to say it. My closest partner nigga set me up to get robbed. You got set up. Yeah, I got set up by my close like childhood partner. Damn, damn, that that's gotta suck. Yeah, man. yeah, man. You know, and he's saying nigga like he was down bad, you getting shoes and shit. So, you know, it's dirty game out here. You yeah, always gotta get that third eye open. Yeah, it so, is. But, yeah. So, then, man, it's like it's on me. Like now, you know, like. Hey, yeah, but it might take it how they want it. I mean, I'm gonna make, I'm going home to see my people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. I, a lot of niggas live by. I'd rather see your mama cry than my mama cry. Right. It's like, it what it is out here now. You got these, especially these little millennium babies. These millennium babies? Man. These niggas 14 walking 14 around with AR, two. bro. And I'm like, damn, how you, they trying to say, hey, call you, oh, can me say, let me buy that fire, Bobby, oh, let me buy they, and they oh, yeah. getting them. They got the money for it. They got the money. <laughs> Dog, I'm going to tell you, because y'all look at with our generation, right. you had, you either going to do this, you going to work. Right. You going to work. We was, taught you, to work. we was taught to work. You was taught to work. Right. Or you going to have a hustle. Oh, you got that hustle. You going to grind. Right. And when then you can really do, you can sell, you can sell chips, soda, water, weed, coke, crap, whatever you was going to do, pill, all that. These young niggas. They were robbed. These, they robbing. And another thing, I'm going to tell you that they picked up. All this tech shit that came up in the picture now, it fucking scamming. It's scamming. Scamming, it's scamming. Is at, scamming is at an all time yeah, high. At an all time high. Yeah. So these niggas walk around with 20, 30 on the large scat packs and niggas yeah. being here, cats and shit. I mean. They scamming. The biggest scam, I mean, they scamming everything now. It's scamming from, uh, what? Cash artists again. Oh, artists been scammed forever, for years. Artists always been scammed by record labels. That's yeah, for yeah, years. Yeah, 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 yeah. The cash app scam. Yep. The real estate scam. Now they got it where it's like they have it. Uh, Cause me and my uh, we was looking for a house. One we were looking for a house, and if you go online or something like that, you probably haven't seen it. But they'll have like a bunch of sites where they have like houses available houses That's in the like, like, yeah. yeah, but you look into it, they don't be having like the information, or they be having like certain things, or you gotta uh, email them or something. You gotta email, email them or some shit, or you gotta send in the deposit. And you gonna buzz my head? Not like that. <laughs> I'm a, I see like they go back to me saying I'm gonna try to beat you anyway. I ain't gonna let you beat me. Right. Mad dude <laughs> try to do me and my granddad. Long live my goddamn granddad, Roosevelt Byrne. 
we were trying to buy a four wheeler. Right. And he used to be around my cousin, man. You know what I'm saying? He used to always tell me, hey, man, just meet me here and just give me the, uh, like, you know what I'm saying? I said, we got a check, nigga. You know, I'm running good over here. Right. And he kept talking about, nah, we need cash, no, need cash. I'm going to meet you with, with the money and I'm going to take you over there. Ah, oh, but you stupid as you look. But I ain't friend got down. My granddad was like, no, no. No, no. Nah. So, like, <laughs> like, right now, I ain't with it. You ain't with it. It's so fish about it. I right. smell it. Right. So, that scam is anyway, they're yeah. going to try to beat you any type of way, yeah, anything you want. So, but I'm, I'm, you can feel beat me. Right, right, right. My thing is the best way to buy something these days is right there in the in place. Front, I'm going to go right in front right of the Right there. So I, I can, can grab it. Right. It's in my hand. How much is it? <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, it's a real, just like that. And yeah. You got to, and any time they start asking too many questions, like, social security, all that extra oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Man, hold up, wait a minute. Nope. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. The biggest scam I know this year is the PPE. A lot of people have been PPP getting long. PPP loans. They trying to get them free, ba- them free bands. Free band. Yeah, hey. <laughs> I know a couple of them that did that right I know up. a couple of them got locked up now for it. <laughs> Ooh, it's good. It's man, they, uh, they did a sweep, man. The feds came through. They locked up like 20, 25 people down this way in Augusta for that PP loan. Like they didn't, you know, as far as, you know, you got to have employees. You know, you can't just get that money without no employees. You got to have a business, but you got to be, you got to show that you're paying people working for you in order for you to get that loan. You can pay yourself too. You can pay yourself. Mm-hmm. You can put yourself down too. As an employee, you can collect As an employee, that. yeah. So a lot of people were doing money. that. Everybody just getting in it without it. We're in business without it. Yeah, a lot of some of I, 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 I some you know, little pen or something. I don't know. Mother tried to get me to do it, man. It's sound intriguing. Yeah, it is. But, it nah, is. Free, bro, 20, a, free 20 bands? Man, man <laughs> mother tried to tell me they can give me about 30 to 40. I was like, man, yeah. yeah no. Nah. I already grind. I already grind and take my head to work and get my money up right. out there. Because at the end of the day, it, it's no... That type of money ain't really free money unless you, because you gonna get taxed that back. Yeah. You gonna get taxed that back. Of course, it's free money. You probably don't have to pay. One all thing that about back it, man, once. you can't beat Uncle Sam. You like, but they gonna tax you. Tax. <laughs> when you file a tax, you gonna learn. You can't beat Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam gonna always he win. Gonna, oh, he gonna always win. He gonna want that. You money. might get him on a couple of little licks, but he gonna got down at that paper trail. All right. And he gonna say, "Hey, yeah, bro, hey, right. uh, run me that. Oh, right. you ain't got it." Right. I said, they're going to find their way back. They're going to get, trust me, if the, if the government give you a lot of money, trust me, stuff around you, they're going to get that money back. They might not get it from you all at once, but they're going to raise taxes. Yep, that the economy. And then the little gas, little, the little gas problem we had for like a day yeah. or two. Man, everybody was just panicking, <laughs> man. Everybody panicking, man. I seen, man, I seen my mother had a trailer with a tank, with, with a big a old tank, like the water tank. Man, he was filling it up. He was just casually filling it up. Like, hey, what the hell are you doing, bro? Like, bro, I drive a truck, bro. I need that. I already go all the way to Thompson, bro. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, bro. And that, that shit was hell for like two days, like two, three days, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you know, everything was just out. You want to know something? Yeah. I'm the type of nigga. Damn. Every now and then I feel that motherfucker up. But then you see it. I'm, I ain't got time to wait at the pump that long. I'm like, $20,000 in the motherfucker. Yeah, I'm like that, too. I, I, and I'm in the I, truck. Like, my yeah. dumb ass in the truck. So, <laughs> bro, I'm like, come on, bro. You got to do more than that. So, one day, I, you know, I go back and forth to Thompson every day. So, I'm trying to get to the, you know, pump. You know what I'm saying? So, I can go all around the ride to see the fuck off. Right. Man, my dumb ass give up. It's a line at the damn uh, pump. So, I'm on Washington Road trying to turn in. She, as soon as I get in, my turn to go. Old truck go to pump. Pop, 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 doing a holler, shaking a bit. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> so I'm, <laughs> I had to roll in there. Yeah, roll in there. Yeah, I rolled in that bit, dude. So it stopped right before we get to the point. The line stop. I said, "Damn!" So when the line moved, I had to got down, and hit the damn whole left leg, and go scoot in that bitch like I was scooting in there, like you were yeah. flinching or some shit. All, boy, I like to <laughs> pull the muscle trying to scoot that bitch in, cause I try to look cool and not got there, look like I ain't breaking no sweat. Yeah, hey, you try to push, the, you try to push that shit like it's a motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, boy, I was in that bitch like I just hit, hit my little leg. I was in that bitch doing a stinky <laughs> leg trying to, hit. you know what? My legs ain't but so big, so they gonna only do so much. Oh, leg got there, went to try to got there, scoot that bitch, that bitch leg yeah. said. Oh boy, I thought I had fucked up my little hamstring, bro. But I got yeah. that. I put four dollars in that bitch then. I was like, but not a, never again, bro. You never know. again, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. was saw the next day too, bro. 
I walk with a dip, boy. Boy, you going to tear your ACL and everything back over there. Boy, shit, that's why I don't go play pickup games or basketball and everything. <laughs> All right, shit, I just hit 30. I just hit 30. I'm not finna go out there and fuck up. I got to take care of this too. Right, right, right. You know that's your money maker. Your body is your money maker. You're an oh, artist. Yeah. You need all your limbs, you need your face and all that you stuff. You got to be in shape, dude. You got to be in shape. shape too, man, because, yeah. yeah, my you first show, bro, I know a whole lot of artists know something about this. But I got up on that bitch, I ran out of the goddamn bread, about to throw up, because you smoking this shit and all that. About to throw up, but I had to gather myself up. Terrible way. Yeah, I had to get that right. <laughs> but I bounced back, I ain't never, right. I ain't never fold. Right. I ain't never fold. Right. I got right, though. There was like certain, certain things, smoking is cool, but... It, I, I feel like I don't, I don't think it's a good idea for artists to drink before they perform. I'd have made that I don't mistake. think that. I don't I think it's a good idea because it's like you, you get up there, the like you be spinning. You might be, be spinning. Get, you get delusional because you, you got to think your adrenaline. When you, when, 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 once you hit the stage, your adrenaline instantly pumps. Once your music comes on, you yeah. got that mic in your hand. When you hear that music instantly. and you say, "Okay, then here it goes. Let's get here it. it. Let's get it. Let's get it." So you drunk. Huh. Man, you gonna be dazed out. You gonna, you be, gonna like, be like, man, <laughs> I'm about to try to fuck this motherfucker. Shit, boy. <laughs> Damn. You, you, you miss one word, you fuck. Fuck. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, nah, you can't, but you got to go out there on point, man. You yeah, can't you go out there to. sleeping. Right. If you want, especially if you got something, you know, you got important people in your audience. Right. In your crowd. Right. You got to come out there, bitch. You got to go. Yeah. On point, on you point. never and you never know who's in the crowd watching you anyway. And if you up there, you drunk. That's just that's not good business because you're already telling them that you're not really. That's why, like, I just started looking into like at first I was like, man, I ain't doing these local shows, man. I'm finna try to branch out, but nah, you got to start doing these local showcases. Like I, after I thought about it, you got to do these local showcases, like with anything you do, because that's reps. Yeah, that's reps. The more you do, the better your your stage performance, your stage presence is. Mm -hmm. When you go, cause like when you book, it, like when they book the shows, they owners like promoters looking for two things: is your music like they don't too, not not all the time looking for your music straight. They looking for is you gonna bring your crowd, you know what I'm saying, so they can make some money off of that shit. And how your stage person is, that's how I look at it. Right, right, right. Not all, everybody ain't like that, but right, right. that's how I think. When it comes to the shows, I was like that one time. I was like, because you, you, I know you heard it. I know y'all probably heard it saying, you know, if there's only two people in here, you put on the show. If there's 20 people in here, you put on the show. You know, it don't matter who's in here, you put on the show. It's cool, but you got to you gotta look at it like at some point when you get to, I say like when you start doing music, say like you get to, you you you've been in uh, at least about a year in music. Mm -hmm. You done did about you did a bunch of shows for that year. I felt like at that point at uh, at that point you got to start choosing which shows make sense. It, yep. it, like you, like they got to become because at the end of the day, if you just doing a show after show after show after show, then you just do a show that's not really elevating you. Because this show that's not elevating you, it, it's helping your it's helping your performance. But what if you already got your shit on point? You're just constantly doing this show, 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 and these shows is not magnitude in anything, which is good to do a show, but certain shows helps your career more than others. Others, yeah. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like. That's why I say to back, go back to saying these local ones is good to get your reps up. The so reps you, up, so right. So you get comfortable on stage, you get comfortable, you get comfortable. So I figured out when I, when I could, you know, I was comfortable on stage when I was doing, show, you know, you know, performing with what? So me and Lou, I was up there, you know, I was like, shit, I got there. Everybody tell my boy, you brought the energy, boy, you lie, bro. You need to do your right. own thing, do your, do your thing. Right. Watt was like, shit, bro, this nigga can rap. Like, y'all playing. Right. So Watt just drip kiss constantly. Nigga, get in your, get in your, get in your. I started with kind of like, kind of like, I always be my home. Like, it's a home I can go back to. But, you know, now I'm on my own. I'm like doing all on my own. But D, I started with Watt and... Bro gave me all the tools, you know what I'm saying, to go on you with, bro. With, with, right. And XP, that's my, like, XP, like, helped me, like, get my sound right, too. Like, them I always be my bros. Like, I never go against them, you feel me? Right. So, like, that's who always started me with this shit, gave me the confidence to do that shit. When I, once I got on stage, I started feeling myself, feeling myself, feeling myself, and started doing my own, doing my own shows, you know. Just going like that. You go blown going up and that, man. That's what's up, man. But so up. now it's like now I'm trying to branch out the city, right? Take it around, and see who you know if they don't know, because we can be real all, all day. 
Because a lot of times it ain't about your music. It's about your popular something, yes. popularity yeah, sometimes. Yeah, exactly. But if you coming from out of town, you got important people like Atlanta, Black <clears throat> Hollywood. You never know who in that crowd out there. Right. Oh, I know this dude uh, from, they might know somebody from with Trevor Camp. He might know somebody from Boosie Camp. He know, might know somebody with Gucci Camp. He might know somebody with Authentic Empire. Oh, I heard this boy in the club, but hey, you need to really look or listen to him. He might. You know, you might do some numbers. Right, right, right. And shoot, but it all start with your following, like yeah. that social media and shit. Right. Like so, everybody right now, I feel like with every local artist, that's what they right. they really trying to work on right now. Right. I feel and um piggybacking off what you're saying about Augusta, um when it comes to like popular artists, I feel like when it comes to like when it comes, I, I feel like if you if you're a popular Augusta artist, like you popular, damn. I feel like at some point you have to leave Augusta. You got to leave Augusta because when Augusta. you leave Augusta, your following still here and they going with that social media shit, they still going to push you. They going to leave, oh, well, like y'all look at Yayo. Yayo, yeah, yo, free Yayo, by the way, man. Right. You what he, what he did, you know what I'm saying? He got a following, he got his way. Man, out the city, everybody going, you know, that boy, they going to support that boy. Right. They got my boy back, you know what I'm saying? They got right. bro back. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but you know, the crazy thing, it's not crazy, but I've also I've seen it, and this is actually true. A lot of a lot of artists is popular in Augusta. They're not popular outside of Augusta. Like mm -hmm. they're not like they just got the talent. Like, they got the talent. They too. got so like they I ain't gonna sit there and say a lot of niggas ain't got the talent. Yeah, a lot of them got not, a lot of niggas got, got talent. Like, yeah, yo, hot, hard. Yeah, yeah, Eat yo. Eat your hard. Yeah, like bro, you gotta put you got rock game with hard. Right. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is just like, what I mean by popular, you can be popular in your area, but like I said, if you're still in your area, it doesn't really- It only it, takes it, you so far. It don't take you so you far, so- You're stuck in that bubble. Right, so, yeah. You, so I, I now, feel like- But that's, a, it's a, I feel like it's a start, it's a start. It's a start, it's a start. It's a start, but I, it's like, if you're a popular artist and you're not doing anything outside of like trying to go outside of Augusta to- Actually, see if you that popular or not, because you could be popular in this area, but you be trash to everybody else. But just the fact that everybody knows you in this hometown because you done did probably play sports, uh, you probably got a big family here, a respected family. Like, there's different ways for people to be family. In the street, yeah, this, in the street, this, I, know, yeah. I know, I know, I know a lot of popular artists in different hometowns. Their music ain't that good. It's just that they did, some, they did some shit in the streets. They got a name. They got they they know these people. I know a couple. They people. rock with these people, but you hear their music, you're like I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know how he's so hot. Like, hard. like you, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I, 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 bro, I know exactly what you. Talking about. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I know exactly. What you, I know a couple of them like that. Yeah, it's a couple of them like that. Yeah, that that's got, not saying they're not good. Yeah. But it just you're not as hot they, as you they, think. No, nah, your music. You got to take it and stuff. You, you shit like my, his shit might not be clear. You might not have it. it might not your lyrics might not be all that. I'm right. Moving. Everybody just, yeah, everybody right. just like love you. Right. Yeah. You got some people that, that like at the end of the day, like I said, now it's 21. I feel like it's not about music anymore. It's more about branding and it's all about what story, what backstory you got to you. Like, for instance, what I tell people, it's not about music. Cause people don't give a fuck how your music sound. Yeah, no. They don't. They don't give a fuck how your music sound. If the beat sound good, it sound is beating. That's all they care about. But they actually care about your backstory. Like what's if you have some drama or some type of story behind you, you'll pop. That's just what it is. People like drama. People like to tune in and shit. Like Boosie hasn't Boosie has never had a hit. He's still relevant to this day. Why? He on social media like heavy. He's always in the headlines. He he always doing some shit. Takashi, y'all yeah, listen to Takashi? Do y'all listen to Takashi? Yeah, cause he always, I, I don't listen to the goddamn Takashi. <laughs> oh yeah, no, not that, not that. I ain't, I never listened to that nigga. I've never right. listened to Takashi. When I did play it, I was like, what the fuck is this trash? But how you heard about him? Man, I heard. He always did some shit. And, and, like, beefing with trying to fuck with these niggas, fucking with these niggas, right. fucking with these niggas. Right. And I kept, one thing I kept saying, that boy gonna get his head knocked off. That's gonna be like, and I, feel, hey, uh -huh. I, I still feel like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. he first came out. Yeah. He got some good vision. When he first came out. Yeah. When he had a when he had a gang behind him. Yeah, he had a backing behind him. He had a yeah, he, he had a gang. Did. He, he did. Yeah. He had dig that cause they, that, that that shit that shit was official it was back in him. Yeah, it was it was. That really shit good. was official. That was tied street ties, yeah. all that. And you know what I'm saying? So And like I said, but Takashi's trash. Trash. But 
His father. His, like I said, ain't your music. It's what's so, it's your backstory. It's around you. It's everything that's around you. Bobby Smurder. Bobby Smurder did have a hit, yeah. but he's still relevant to this day. Why? It ain't because of that hit. Because he didn't snitch. He had that shit down. He just there you go. That's what I'm saying. All he did would be a real street nigga. Right. This nigga get out of he prison did, he did, he did and, down. and sign a rock nation. <laughs> it's like, right. come on, man. Right, you did. Everybody, one thing we know, like, I ain't gonna lie, I don't really know too many. I, I know that song, Bobby Beats. I know that song, you know, the love. Uh, uh, I done hit that little shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I done hit it a couple times in the club, fucked up. Right. So, I, I know them two songs. Right. How about you? That's, that's all, but I don't know nothing else. But, they, uh, they shit was like, right. I just was like, damn, you know, because he's a real street nigga. He right. did what in it. Like, he had some major pressure on him and he right. fought. But, which I feel like what any nigga should do if they got themselves involved with anything right. and the people around them. Then you got yourself in that shit, so then you better shut the hell up. Right. I mean, you had a choice to stay the fuck out of You knew what, what shit come to, you know, what come along with right. your actions or repercussions of what's going on. Right. So, you know, be stand up ten toes and just stay down. Right. That's how everybody should do it. Right. Yep. Right. But a lot of people don't see it that way. Nah, they don't see it that way, man. I see everybody everybody got their own way of thinking. It's, it be weird to a lot of people. But. That's why I'm over need just stay, like I said, going back to what we talked about earlier. That's why I see a motherfucker might as well stay their ass in school because dope game and never it's dope and it's fucked up. That's what they doing. Right. Like, but like, actually, you got places you can call and say, I won't hate on no, you because you just, you make more money, this man make more money than this man, he can go, go to the dude and store and report him. Yeah, man, I, I, that's what they doing now. Yeah. So, that's, that's a dead in the street right now, so I feel yeah. like. Plus, and then the, then the drug game, it was already in the rap game, but it's like more in the rap game now. It's like it's way more in the rap game, so. And then you got over a hundred some artists now, and everybody's basically sound alike. It's like, you can't really tell the difference who sound, who is who. Certain songs you can by certain people because of their voices. Like, you know, yeah. Boosie. If you hear Boosie, okay, that's Boosie. If you hear Lil Baby. You got that trademark. That trademark. You hear Lil Baby, okay, that's his. Because they got a certain distinctive voice. But then you have a lot of <laughs> artists that just sounds like the same. The auto tune and it just be high. You be 30, 40 year old men yep. sound like kids. No, I just, <laughs> one thing about that auto tune, it's a, it's a touchy, touchy subject with that shit. Because at the same time, so auto tune can be good and yeah. used right if it, but it has to be tuned and perfected. You tuned like, right. You got to know. You got to like, you know be too high. You, you, now you got me sounding like a robot. You know, a lot of old heads think that sounds good. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, yeah. yeah they be like, <laughs> then a lot of the people that really listen to music. A lot of people don't like it. Yeah. Then you got some people that, like, yeah. with the new age was going on. Yeah. You got to face that shit. I don't hear, I don't tune here. Is yeah. it? And I don't auto tune, auto tune has been around forever. Auto tune has been around for since the eighties. A long time. It's, been a long it's, time. Like, it's here. Like yeah. you can't. Yeah. The reason a lot of like the reason a lot of old heads don't like it because of the strength of it. it's not. It's not. It's not, it's not authentic. It's not natural. It's not. It's not music. It, it's it's artificial, which it is. It's artificial sounding. And it really compared to, and you could tell it like this is facts. You could you can tell like even the R and B music these days is not the same anymore. Mm -mm, mm -mm. It's not. It's not, it's not even R and B to, music you anymore. You ain't got to be able to sing that. It's no, not exactly. You, you just got them exactly, or something. Exactly. So you don't like when we were growing up. You had the Tyrese's, yeah, the, the Ushers, you had the Trey Song, you had Jodeci. the Ooh, yeah. Jodeci's and all that. Ooh, yeah. You ain't got that oh, shit boy, no that more. You ain't got that no more. You nah, got the Jacquees's, you got the the uh, everybody else that sing with the tune. Hell, you got more rappers singing R and B than the damn R and B singers now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm being yeah. honest. I'm being honest. Yeah, man. that's what. But that's what they like now. So right. that's what they give them. Like, I didn't did one or two tracks in there. They ain't my favorites, right. man. But the feedback that I got off of it, everybody was rocking with right. it. So you got to give the folks what they want, but right. you can't get caught up in that trap. Right. Can't get, you just can't get stay in that bubble. Right. A lot of times when you rap it, it's all right to down. A lot of rappers scared to branch out and try this, try this. Sometimes it might not be what you like. It might be about what other right. people like. Right. You know what I'm saying? When you step out your element. Right. And that's what a lot of people, when it comes to music now, like you just, or pick it back on what you're saying, a lot of people when they do their music, they really, 
they everybody has their own certain sound, but it's like a lot of people just do the sound of what's popping now. Well, this popping, people like to hear this, so we need to make a song like this because this was popping. And not knowing when you do that, you putting yourself in the same range as every other artist is thinking that same way. Besides, just yeah, going that's this why way. I say you just can't get stuck mm -hmm. in that, that way. In that I mean, way. You, you can do a, do a song or two right away. Right, right. Try and see. Obviously, it show might, people it like, might show take people off. like I can t I can fuck this how style they, like how they doing this shit. I can yeah. do this shit. Yeah, this shit ain't nothing. Yeah. But then you got to go back and stick with your original sound. Like this is I can do that. But look here, this is me. Right. This is what. This is the. Main ingredient with uh, this is my this is my blue, like my blueprint, right. uh, my you know my whole style. Right. You always got to stick with that, even if you're changing it up a little bit. You got to always keep your original sound somewhere in that mix, right. so that it stamp you yourself as an artist. Where when they hear that shit, oh, I know this loads. Right. So you know what I'm saying. When you hear that, when you hear that, yeah, 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 all that shit. You know what I'm saying. You know who it is. Right. You know what I mean. Facts, 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 facts. You gotta stay original too. You gotta stick stick with what you know. Stick to something that's what you doing. Not what this man doing. Not yeah. what you heard this doing. Just do your own thing. Be yourself. Mix yourself in with your music. Facts, facts. That's how I do it. So what's the main goal for, for, for Ten Low? Like what's the final the final after you know, after the music career and all that's done, like what's what's the final like what's your final goal that you're trying to reach where you like, okay, you tell your people like, okay, we 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 here. Like, what's that goal? Well, you talking about when I reach the top? Yeah, what's that goal? When I get, if I get ever, God, you know, God and give me the blessing to make it to that, that level. If I ever get there, my goal next is to get the ones that are around me that got me to that level, the ones that you know started with me. I'm finna bring them to the top, and I'm finna, we finna build an empire. You know what I'm saying? Are you only you only strong as the people around you. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if if I'm you if I'm a millionaire and I got the option, the you know what I'm saying, the tools to make this man a millionaire, make this man a millionaire, millionaire. These are people in my circle. These are people who got me to where I'm at today. These are people who I know who are silent and ten toes. So these are the people that I'm gonna bless with these blessings and get them to the same level as me. All of us the same on the same level. We don't stop them. Can't nobody stop us. Right. So it all you gotta start with a vision, but it take one, you know what I'm saying? If one going, you gotta put you gotta put, you know, support behind that one. Like yeah, I said, that one, yeah. That one could pop you know that one could pop could change everybody's fortune. Yeah. Yeah, that's facts. That, that's that's facts. It only take one person to take off. That's all. That's all it, it takes. You just gotta make you just that person that one person that take off. If he in your circle and y'all putting support out behind him. It ain't all about music and everything. Make sure they're a solid person too. Yeah, yeah. Especially if you putting your support behind them, you pushing them. Make sure everybody's solid. Yeah, yeah. Like everybody in my circle, I know 100. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had their disagreements, but one thing about it, we bring that shit to the table. We gonna, yeah. we, we, all us outspoken, we gonna let each other know. Right, right, right. So that's what's up, man, that's what's up. So <clears throat> before we slide off on Newbie Vet, man, uh, how can they get in contact with you? And is any love you want to shout out? Man, you can go on my Instagram at, you know what I'm saying, 10 loads with a Z, not an S. You can go on Facebook, T-E-N-L-O-A-D-Z. Holler at me on there. You can get with my boy, Dominique Barabino, my manager. And shoot, all the shout outs I want to get to, you know what I'm saying, Lucha Lua, FBBBJ, XP, Main. I ain't the minutes to be exact. Uh, shit, Rose Chapo, shit, Lonely, Draco the Don. Um, anybody I forgot is love, man. G Code, Holly Train, you know what I'm saying? Free Cali, Jamal, Demiris, everybody, man. It's a lot of people I can shout out, man, that got me where I'm at, but you know what I'm saying? It's love. It's love. 